Who is it telling me about the Bevel Aqua kid? You know that family has money from construction? The fuck of Matthew. It's not very good. You sure cried like a baby that night. I think the family was relieved he got taken out. Really? Hey, waiter. That's the closest CW16 ever got Tony to discussing the Bevelacqua murder on tape? I think at this point, it's time to consider 16 bump and sour compost. Bump and sero was crucial to the Webistic stock fraud case. So, Rico-wise, the airline tickets, mail and wire fraud, especially if the mother testifies in exchange for immunity. Come on, whose own mother's going to testify against him? I say focus on his garbage business. Extortion, interstate trucking. It's also the most likely to yield a prosecutable murder. Richie April, exactly. No doubt about it, the cartel had him whacked. Okay, garbage, but Tony shows real due diligence when it comes to electronic debugging. What about the home? Papa Tara told me him and Tony talked in the basement there on more than one occasion. His own basement? Really? Where's the due diligence there? Tony avoids talking business in the house if he can. But if he has to, he'll take somebody out by the pool. Except there he fears parabolics. The basement has these noisy AC ducts. He turns on the air, and he feels it's safe. In order for the SCT team to drop a wire in that house, there's got to be nobody at home for at least two hours. Actually, the maid is gone for a little while on Tuesday afternoons. Gone why? English language classes. She's getting a U.S. citizenship. She's gone from the house from 1 till about 2.45. In our class, then she and her husband usually have a picnic lunch. He's applying for citizenship, too. Carmela's gone the same hours on Tuesday, tennis lessons. As long as we have somebody on her during tennis, and on the maid, and Tony, and everybody that's got a key to the house. The daughter's at Columbia, lives in the dorms. Why risk it? She's 45 minutes away via the GW. Put somebody on her. Any one of them breaks for home. We need to warn the SCT team to get the hell out of there. That's just for Anthony Jr. <laughs> Looks like they're expecting World War III. More likely the Columbo Wars. Hey, he's got the Black and Decker. I got one of those. Hundred and twenty gallon water heater. My house was shivering after a shower and a half. Whoa, wait a minute. Go back. Look at the brown water. Right there, freeze it. Why? You don't see it? Freak forward, give us some magnification. That baby's gonna blow. <laughs> My dad was a plumber. Tony got about six months left to go on that lining. Oh, it's a shame that we can't warn him. Maybe during the discovery phase of his RICO trial, we can inform his lawyer that Tony needs a plumber. <laughs> Except that's at least a year from now. And by that time, boom! <laughs> okay, now you see that lamp there? Bingo's leaving the bing, too. Do we have any idea what went down? No. It's a family emergency of some sort. Plumber's truck went up there. Look, we don't have any idea what happened, so let's not speculate. Der Bingle has left the building. They fucking made me. Control, we're in motion. We have left the sausage factory. Touchdown. <laughs> 